Welcome back to Aesthetics Magazine. Discover more skincare resources at aestheticsmagazine.com. In this episode, we are going to offer part one of our crash course on advanced facial devices. Facial treatments with devices have gained increasing popularity in recent years. They aim to rejuvenate and improve the skin conditions on the face, help to slow down the aging process, and achieve a younger, fresher, and healthier-looking facial skin. There are different types of equipment such as high-frequency machines, microcurrent machines, and ultrasonic therapy equipment used in facial treatments with all these devices. Devices used in facial treatments utilize electrical, mechanical, or chemical energy. With the use of such devices, products applied to the skin during the treatment can be better absorbed into the skin. Also, the second major difference between the treatment with manual massage and with the machine is the repetitive stimulation. During the machine-operated treatment, the program is set to provide a consistent and repetitive motion for a certain period of time. It is less dependent on the individual therapist's performing technique, and the clients are expected to receive a consistent level of effectiveness regardless of the experience of the therapist. On the contrary, the treating efficacy of a manual massage is very much therapist-dependent. Energy from such treatments can help to balance and enhance cellular growth. As a result, the repair and replenishment of damaged skin cells and tissues can be achieved more effectively. Depending on the energy and technologies used, the outcomes and the focus areas of different treatments are varied. For example, some treatments aim to improve blood circulation and lymphatic drainage in order to promote absorption. Some focus on enhancing the production of collagen and elastin so that the skin can be strengthened and wrinkles could be minimized. Also, there are treatments trying to kill the bacteria causing acne and regulate the production of oil. Facial treatments with devices are often used for clients with matured or prematurely aged skin. According to existing customers and professionals, the significant improvements are visible after a course of such treatment. However, both instant and long-term results can be achieved regardless of male or female receivers. Also, most of the energy-assisted treatments do not require special preparation, and they are referred to as non-invasive or non-surgical procedures. A few of them are known as lunch hour treatments, which mean no recovery period is needed, and clients can resume their normal daily activities right after the treatment. I believe it is the beauty and the relaxation effects resulting from such treatment that attract customers to receive them in this rapidly growing industry. As for the skin therapist's perspective, it is a beneficial opportunity to broaden their professional expertise, particularly for those who work in beauty salons and health resorts. Adding knowledge and skills in the area of energy-assisted facial treatments can surely enhance the career prospects. However, skin therapists as well as the clients have to be aware of the applicable standards and regulations to make sure the treatments deliver the expected results. A radiofrequency facial is a type of facial treatment that uses radiofrequency energy to heat tissue and stimulate subdermal collagen production in order to reduce the appearance of fine lines and loose skin. The warmth that is created in the skin from the energy, according to some physicians, promotes a healing response. This restoration is believed to assist the skin in becoming thicker, healthier, and younger looking. Throughout the procedure, a gel is put on the skin's surface to assist in gliding the facial tip that administers the therapy over the treatment area. Patients generally require about five to six treatments that are spaced out accordingly in order to notice and keep the full benefits of the treatment. However, some people see and feel the initial effects of the treatment after their first visit. After the last treatment, outcomes typically last for a few months, and then periodic maintenance treatments every few months or once a year may be required. It has been advised that a person who is considering this procedure should speak with a dermatologist or other medical professional in order to decide if this sort of procedure is suitable for the skin. Estheticians can perform radiofrequency facial treatments, but it is important to note that in some states estheticians are not allowed to use machines that produce these types of treatments. Additionally, throughout the United States are not qualified to diagnose, evaluate, or treat skin irregularities or any type of skin condition by way of a prescription drug, medicine, or surgery, and should any client express any areas of concern as described within the scope and definitions of providing service to a customer, the esthetician must express that the client should seek a medical professional. This should be an important notation in the realm of recognizing the scope, territory, and limitations of practice for every esthetician. 
Discover the natural power of vitamins with this new book Understanding Vitamins in Skincare by Greg Rishaw. Learn how vitamins can nourish, protect, and renew your skin, all while embracing a healthy, balanced approach. Get your copy today and uncover the secrets to natural ingredients. Understanding Vitamins in Skincare is available now on Amazon.com.